What's up, folks? Hello. What's up, everybody? How are you all doing? That little, uh, whatever, whatever that is, <clears throat> that comes to us from the Sluice Way, who I see is here now. Thanks for coming. Pretty awesome little, uh, little game. There, a lot of fun. Really immersive experience. Planning on streaming a little Pikmin tonight. Let's see if I can get her to uh, cooperate. Should be able to. Um, whoop. There we go. Yes, Pikmin. The first one. One of my one of my all time favorite games on the GameCube. Um. I really, I really do love this game. There's something so innocent yet weirdly, weirdly dark about it. I don't, I don't know how to explain. How are we all doing tonight? How, how's everyone? How's everyone doing? Luke, what's up? Grape, hello. Redago, how are we doing tonight? Figured I'd stream a little Pikmin. Um, was playing Smoosh Brothers with Vin the other night and another friend of ours, uh, Mike, who you may recognize from the chat as Aju. And uh, I was kind of tearing it the fuck up with Olimar, and it sort of got me in the mood for this game. This is one of my all-time favorites on on the GameCube. Uh, there's just something about it. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like the the, the diabolical evil genius in me that loves just having having minions to do with what I will at, at my disposal they don't ask any questions, they don't give me any shit they just launch themselves into whatever task I send them at Carlo, what's up man so yeah, I've been um, I've been jonesing for a little pick been. let's dive right in huh? hey Carlo um could you could you uh shoot me an email uh just to discuss like the um the the Twitch porting business we talked about the other night I didn't really get a chance to talk to you about that but um I played around with my uh, my OBS settings a little bit I think I don't I we shouldn't be running into that that same issue that uh we were having the other night I was hoping to do some troubleshooting with you cuz you sound like you uh you're really on top of shit with this business so yeah, if you want to um, shoot me an email, we could discuss the Twitch setting, uh, sorry, blah, 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 the OBS settings in detail. That would be super, right? Olimar, boldly going where no short, malformed, hominid creature has gone before. I do have uh, Verizon, Carlo. But let me try to... I feel like the game volume is a little low, am I right? Let me know how uh, my, my volume is. Hey, Drur, what's going on? Yeah, Drur, you know, I was thinking about it earlier, and it's pretty twisted. If you think about it, because clearly this is one of those... Like, what's his... I think it was uh, Charlton Heston. Uh, like, Planet of the Apes type situation. I don't think the Olimar is not human, but it's like, oh my God, it's Earth type of deal. Like m maybe after some kind of a pop, a pop, a apocalyptic scenario, wherein like human beings have been eliminated from the face of the Earth, and in order to fill like the ecological niche, there evolved some sort, some some sort of sentient plant creatures. That are really fucking kind of creepy looking when we get down to it, aren't they? Um, this is definitely one of my my favorite titles on the GameCube. Um, and yeah, the, the tearing shit up with Olimar in, in in Smoosh Brothers definitely definitely got me got me Jones and for it a little bit. I'm gonna try to turn up the game volume a little bit. A 
apocalyptic scenario. Hey, Reg. That should be good. Let me know if you're hearing any, uh... Any kind of audio issues whatsoever. My name is Captain Omar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a... Meteor? I must have blacked out. I awoke on the surface of a... Weird planet. With so many parts lost. The skeletal hope of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. <laughs> to make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. I if I can't repair the dolphin by then, no! Better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Okay, hey Weasel. Uh, yeah, let me know if you can hear the game, because I feel like I'm not hearing the fucking game. Okay, that's the ship. Yeah, I fucking love this game, guys. I really do. Had a lot of fun with this bitch. And the sequel, too. You might remember I, I did a... I, I played some co-op with Vin, the third Pikmin. And I didn't really dig it. Some a bit... Some a bit too different about it. And I think I, you're probably going to hear me say this multiple times over the course of the stream, but... Uh, it was the fact that, and hear me out on this, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'll just demonstrate it and as soon as this fucking twat picks the Pikmin. Hey, Ewan! What's going on? You had a concert, huh? An adorable little sprout! American noob, what's up, buddy? And we're gonna pick the Pikmin and, oh, isn't he just absolutely horrifying? I wonder what happens to these things. Was it was it radiation or was it just like that show on Discovery Channel? Life after people. You know what I mean? Okay, th this is what I didn't like about Pikmin 3, and it, it might be it might be sort of a, a nitpicky thing, but to me it made a big difference in the gameplay. I'm using the right. You see this, this Pikmin circling around me right now? I'm using the right C stick. Okay, you you could you couldn't do that. In, in the third game, it didn't. And when I when I had when I amass an, an army of Pikmin minions of Pik minions, you're gonna see why why that's way more effective than it might appear right now. Okay, no. Yeah, I just I love having fucking minions in games. Okay, let's build an army. Planetary domination. All right, maybe I'm, maybe I'm aiming a little bit too hard there. Ewan, uh, maybe, maybe like two hours. I don't plan on doing it. I don't plan on going that long tonight. If that, if that helps you plan out for the rest of your night, you know. So yeah, it's just, this, this, I mean, it's pretty obvious, I don't think there's any kind of dispute. This was Earth at one point. But something fucking horrible happened. I mean, where are the humans? We only have remnants of their lost civilization. Coca-Cola, um, bottle caps and shit like that. And whatnot. He's not ready to pick yet. Okay, we'll let him gestate for a little while. By the way, Sluice, I love that uh, that vampire. Guys, why is my, why is this Pikmin albino? What's going on there? Why do I have why do I have albino Pikmin, guys? What's the deal? Are they neutral? Are they neutral? Are they neutral? Oh, they turn red. American noob thinks that. Wait, what? 
What 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 killed? Oh, <laughs> yeah, high high fructose corn syrup fucking caused the extinction of the human race. Qualicaxora, what's up? I know I got that name right this time. I know I got it. All right, so we're moving and we're looking for shit to do. I need five Pikmin for this little bitch. See if you know how to use the C stick. Oh. If you know how to use the C stick effectively, you don't need to throw them like that and just pray to God they land where you're trying to get them to land. <laughs> the Coca Cola became sentient and killed everyone. Guys, somebody sent me a game on Steam. Uh, Gy uh, Gyro Burner sent me a game on Steam the other day, and I, I think he did it. I think he did it kind of to fuck with me. But as it turns out, well, I'm gonna be using the the uh, right the C stick here. Here it is, ready. And they just, I didn't even press the A button, but they all instinctively know that I, what, what I want them to do. It's really, really cool, like, intuitive feature of the game, and for some reason they chose not to include it in the third installment. Oh, I gotta, okay, I gotta throw them up there because it's on the way. But, uh, yeah, I was sort of missing it. But yeah, um, yeah, Gyro sent me a game. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. I have no mouth, and I must scream. It's this point-and-click adventure thing- with graphics, though. Uh, point-and-click adventure kind of would be text-based if it wasn't for the awesome art in it. From 1995. I played this thing last night. Absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and again, I, I think he sent it as a joke, but what he didn't- what he didn't anticipate, probably, was my- my penchant for, like, shitty kind of sci-fi cyberpunk, uh, dystopian kind of mindfuck things. But, um... Based on a short story by, like, a prominent American sci-fi writer from the, from the, the 60s, I believe. Um, which actually, I enjoyed the game so much, I went and I read the, uh, the short story. You could probably pick up this game, I think, for a couple of bucks at this point. They did like a re-release on Steam. Hey, Luke! Uh, I, I think the game's fucking fantastic. Um... Carlo! You know what? No, the third... The third wasn't poop. The third wasn't poop. Um, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was just the issue was... I didn't like the, they, they changed the controls up quite a bit, and it, it threw me off. I was looking for like classic Pikmin controls, and I, I didn't get that. And to me, in these games, the the ease with which you command your minions is is half the fucking half the fun. Like look at this. Look, I got all my minions now. Yeah, Luke, the writer voiced M. Um, but the only reason I'm not sh I'm not streaming that game tonight is because it it has it has. You know, a lot of extensive voice voiceover acting, and I, you know, I like the voiceover acting, so I don't want to sit here and, and like, you know, do jabroni speak over it. That was not the right thing. Okay, I gotta remember how to play this. And see, all I did there, I didn't, I didn't sit there and throw ten Pikmin at that box. I used the C stick, where I'm using an Xbox One controller, and I designated the right joystick as the C stick. What have you? It's a C stick. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's way more intuitive and, and, a, and a lot less tedious than using the A button to, to just pick up the Pikmin and throw them at shit. Which is what the third one kind of well, in, insists that you do. Unless there's another way to do it and I didn't really catch it. Come, my minions. Oh, yeah, Luke. I wouldn't... I, would, I don't want to... I mean... Some of the voice acting left me wanting. Like, the one storyline out- And it's a hard fucking game, huh, that game? Believe it or not. And some of the voice acting is spectacular. Some of it leaves a little bit to be desired. Like, the one storyline I played through was, um... Come on, get help him. Assist your minion brethren. The Nazi Doctor. The Nazi Doctor storyline? That, that was great. Um, and I actually, I beat that one. And I tried to play through all of them, and I kept failing on stupid little things. 
So I just sort of, uh, sort of let it go. El Weasel says, I love Pikmin, but the overall time limit... You know what? El Weasel, you... That, that, if I had to pick one drawback, it would be... The fu yeah, absolutely. The time limit hanging over my head. Like, this is- and this is- this this can be, at, at points, a, a very kind of chill game. Um... But when you're on the clock, and, you know, you got the minutes ticking down, and you gotta- you gotta get shit done, it can be a little bit stressful. If we didn't have the time limit in that sense, we would be able to kind of explore the world a little bit more, kind of do the things that we feel like we want to do, and shit like that. And, Sometimes it's hard to do with the time limit. Carlo. Well, look, I was under the impression that the way just the way they designed the game, it was designed in such a way where you you cannot uh, you cannot finish it. Like even if you get the per the, the best possible like uh, story out outcome for the character that you're playing, even if you get the best possible ending. It's still them back in that kind of hell. Sorry, I'm focusing on like four different things in chat right now. Um, Sluiceway, I, I, I hate, I hate leaving Pikmin behind. It's, it's fucking the bane of my existence. The, the sound that they make is so fucking heart wrenching. Carlos picked the Lanius B ship, purposely killed one of the Engi, and had my ship with it. Okay, that's a good idea. No, that's a pretty solid idea. Problem is, why do you wanna why do you wanna sacrifice any any crew members ever? If you were there the other night, that was that was Lanny's A ship I was using. That wasn't B. I don't I don't think I unlocked Yeah, I didn't unlock B. So that was the type A, if that if that helps with whatever you're asking me. Well Luke, if there is a perfect ending, I hope to someday come across it. But I don't think I'm gonna, because the, the fucking that game is hard as fuck. But uh, you know, I like the characters, I like the how fleshed out they are and whatnot. See how look, I'm gonna I'm just Okay, so in this in this instance this this little fucking protein pellet or whatever it is is not gonna allow more than two Pikmin to carry it. Yeah, Carlo, they're go they're gonna board you no matter what, dude. It's just the question is, yeah, if you have a ship that has no no oxygen in, they're not they're not gonna be able to put a dent in your crew, or well, probably on any of the systems either. Luke, I, I got I got pretty far in Benny's storyline, but I couldn't. Uh... They fucking they fucking sacrificed me on the pillar. God, I wanna. Like I said, if it wasn't for the voiceover acting, I'd, I'd be streaming that game right now. But alas, we have the cute... the cute plant creatures instead. I still need two of these little bitches? Yeah, I have a theory that the, the Pikmin are actually very fucking, very evil. And you see what happened there? If I didn't use the C stick in that situation, there would be there would be like six of them left hanging out on the side of this box over here where I'm putting my cursor, wondering how to get up here, thinking that I abandoned them. No, uh, Luke, I didn't get to the baby thing. I got to the the child thing where they they sacrificed the child's mother and all that shit. Oh, we could get a little bit more done. This day won't be a total fucking waste of time. Yeah, there's definitely some... I, I feel some, some, some dark, twisted shit going on in the backstory. You know, we're talking about the fucking... The extinction of the human race right off the bat. It doesn't need to be said. I think it's obvious enough. But, uh... That's kind of dark for Nintendo, no? Look at them. Look at these fucking things. And the reason I know that that's true is those insects, they don't exist yet. And they'll take at least... At least a couple of generations of, of, of evolution before they start popping up on the face of the planet. The insects that, that will be... That will be slaughtering soon enough. 
Well, folks, I want to I want to tell you I have a guest here with me tonight. This is this is Aju. Aju, want to say hi to my stream? To my stream? Probably. I'm sure they can they can hear your your fucking your cunt flapping. The the the, the cunt that you call a mouth flapping. Now we have we have somebody here tonight who detests this this game franchise and the character of Olimar. Mostly due to Smash Brothers. That's not true. You don't want to spew some vitriol about Olimar and his Pikmin creatures? No, I don't hate Olimar and his Pikmin creatures. I hate all of Nintendo. Oh right, right. Okay. There you go. But more than that. But I mean, if you ha if you had to pick one f one Nintendo franchise to despise among all others, would it not be would it not be this? Uh, I don't think so. I'm okay. Not sure, I'm not sure which one it would be. Maybe uh. It had it has to be this. Maybe it would be the the, the Pit series. Just because I don't I don't like Kid Icarus. Yeah, just because I don't like Vinny's jerk off characters in Smash Brothers. Not yours. Oh no, you love my characters. Yeah, yours are fantastic. The oh, here it is. What happened? I don't have enough pick dicks? No, I got enough pick dicks. There they go. No. No, Aju is more of a um, play sta PlayStation board. Is this? At this point, I'm a nothing board because I don't have any video game systems. He got the the, the yellow ring of death on PlayStation. The yellow Ye strip of death. Yellow strip of death on his PlayStation recently. My PlayStation Three. That shouldn't happen yet. Well, my DDD is, is quite epic. Quite epic. My chat agrees. Can you guys go a little bit fucking faster? Okay, we only have a- I can't breathe oxygen here. Oh, I can't breathe oxygen. Ah, uh, Sluice, why don't you just take that shit, throw it in a dumpster, pour some lighter fluid on it, toss a match in there. Homework. Homework never did me any good. Not a single time. Superfly, what's up, man? How we doing? So, if anyone, if anyone, I, I see a lot of positive, positive Pikmin comments. Did my pick Pikmin? Pikmin. 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 Are not boys. We are men. Pikmin. So my intention is to stream this game uh, in its entirety. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. Alright. Yes. Save the game. Shatnamar getting funky with the Pikmin in lower orbit. I like it. I like it. Wonder what he does with him, though. Did I, uh, did I fuck this up, guys? Am I supposed to? No, I'm supposed to be here. This is cool. Well, I think the most that you could do with, with, with Pikmin, I think the most, oh, certainly the most Olimar can do, is just kind of um, stuff him in his butt, like the way that, you know, we see people doing with small animals sometimes. You know, like Mr. Mr. Slave style. Maybe just ram as many in there as possible. Or p pack as many in there. Pick! as many in there as possible. Probably the most he could do. I don't imagine they have many orifices, unless you count the eye sockets. But we're trying to we're, we're trying to build up an army. We're, we're not trying to frivolously skullfuck them and toss them away. 
It's all good, guys. You got homework. You got school. You you have you have my you have you have leave. I give you sure leave. I want I always wondered what this fucking thing was. Anyway, is it coral? What is it? The music in the game definitely gives. It, it, it belies the pressure that you can be under sometimes. You know, I, I guess except at night, like when the sun goes down, that's a little bit different. Why are they taking so long? See that? Look at this. I could send them wherever I want with the C stick. I love that. And, and you'd think that they would, uh, they would have kept that feature in with the third installment, but they didn't do it. And I, I remember getting really annoyed about that. Because what, what was wrong with that? Why did that need to go? It was probably... It was a very, like, intuitive way to control your army. Like, you see how I, I, I didn't have to sit there and tediously throw and, and aim this fucking little cursor thing with the, with the, left, the left joystick? Like, I'd, I'd, ra I'd rather not do that. I like to think the Pikmin are some kind of like savage cannibal race. Although I don't know how. They, although, although without mouths, it'd be pretty difficult to, to consume to consume each other. Are they gonna knock that down? What is that sound? Great. Um, me and me and Vin did uh, Pikmin three co-op, and we were using ah uh, shit. What were we using? I think he was using the gamepad, slaughter, before that thing even had a chance to know what was fucking happening, it's, it's, its throat was being gorged upon. So I was probably using maybe a, maybe a GameCube controller? That's a good question, what is the, what does the Wii U actually come with? It come, I know it comes with that, that godforsaken tablet thing. Um... Oh shit. And I think, do you have the ability to use, uh, to use the GameCube controller? Take you to your onion to re to reproduce? In other words, they use, like, Olimar's body as food for their, for their, pro the propagation of their species? Oh, guys, that's some twisted shit. Tablet thing, the gamepad. That's the only. That's all you get with the system. No, don't do that. The Wii pad, yeah. Well, we, you know, you only get one of those. So I know, I know, Vin was using that. And I don't know, I don't know what controller did he have me using? I don't remember. I don't even remember. Can you use a GameCube controller for the? Oh, not unless it's Smash Brothers, right? It would be awesome if it had GameCube, GameCube controller support. I mean, that might be my favorite console controller ever. That's pro I'm probably just biased. That probably has more to do with Smash Brothers than anything else, but... No Pikmin left behind. I can't imagine playing Smash Brothers with it with anything else. Honestly, it just it, it, it's it's ridiculous to me. Like I've tried to use the, uh, the the motion controller a number of times. That that's just fucking lame. Especially yeah, especially for Smash Brothers. That's like nah, you know what? I'm good. Take care of that, right, Chan? Yeah, you got it. Wait, the only thing Olimar's whip missing is like a like a cat of nine tails whip to just fucking completely break the will of these creatures. 
force them to do his absolute bidding. I gotta say, I'm, I'm running into some... Uh, a couple of disappointments with the, uh, the Xbox One Mini controller that I'm using. I was playing a lot of Skyrim with this controller, and uh, I had, I, I guess for the run, like the run button, I was using the left bumper. And the left bumper is like, it's like eroded down to shit. Like I can, I can feel like I put my finger on it and it doesn't feel like it's even compressing at all. Um, meanwhile, the right one, which I did, I wasn't using, is perfectly fine. And I'm talking like I only played that game. I mean, okay, granted, I do have over 100 hours in the game, but it was only like maybe two months I played the game. So... I feel like it shouldn't be crapping out on me this quickly. And also, there's been a little bit of bullshit with the D-pad, too, which is kind of a disappointment. Because I was really, really liking this controller. And, I, primary reason, it, it felt like, or it can feel like a GameCube controller. I mean, I was alright with the, N, the N64 controller. Um, I didn't hate the Xbox controllers. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, I guess at this point it's, it's redundant. But I, I didn't hate the um, the PlayStation controller either when I had PlayStation 2. But far and away, it's got to be the GameCube controller. So what I want to do is I want to I want to do some some Smash Brothers streams with Vin. Now, someone brought that up the other night. I don't know if if, if you're here, whoever that was. But I'm really look. I would I would love to do that. But he's he's saying that he needs he needs some kind of uh, it's not a capture card. I, I forget what he called it. It's like a splitter, and it helps with the, the delay in the game. Like the game lags a little bit when you try to use it with uh, with X split. He said, and it's kind of we. I mean we've done it before, and I didn't feel like it was it was unplayable. But he was just saying how. He, he, he can't, you know, he can't play the game like that. It just, it, it pisses him off too much. I'm looking at, uh, chat for a second. A pro controller for Smash Grape? I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Esmo push his mighty cold. Esmo push his mighty cold. Hurt deep, three, four, pick me up. my neck. There we go. Get on him. Okay, this guy, yeah, you do have to throw because you want to get it on his back, obviously. Now, look, that's working. Get away from his mouth. Get away from his fucking mouth. No. Get on his big red ass. Satan, my ass, your ass is big and red. Who do you think I'm fantasizing you are, Liza Minnelli? Come on, folks. Let's go. Come here. This is my rival. This is my gun. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'll let that go. I'll let that go. No, none of them died. None of them died. There's a no man left behind. Alright. Oh, I see some like, tadpole fucker. Alright, we need the blue Pikmin for that. Oh, this fucker's sleeping? Let's come back in full force and just destroy him in his sleep. Marco! What's up, buddy? How you doing tonight? Playing some Pikmans. I hate when he throws the Pikmin when I'm trying to pick new one. No! No! I love how willingly they sacrifice themselves to a cause that they know nothing about. Never asked anything about. They just, they just blindly follow this total stranger. I guess because of his charisma and shit. Maybe a couple of false flag operations he pulled uh, stateside. But anyway. Look 
at them. Look how blindly they follow me. I love it. If only everyone in the world was, was so pliable and complicit in my every whim. Watch what we do to this thing. Oh, this is gonna feel so good. Oh, yeah. So, are we trying to sleep? Oh, oh he's a. He's not dead? Wait a minute. Did, what, did I kill him? He's dead? Oh, I killed this one already. Okay, never mind. Back to the front! You will do! As I say, when I say back to the front. There we go. Pros process his process his meat for the cult. Maybe maybe the the Pikmans are some kind of like parasitic alien race. You know, like an, inv an invasive species that came to Earth. Maybe what we're doing to these giant insects has already been done to the, the entirety of the human race four times over. What do you think? Is that, is that twisted? Have, have, I, have I fucking made this, this purely innocent Nintendo romp into the most twisted fucking thing it can be yet? Alright. Alright. It's a work in progress. I'll keep working on it. Hey, man, what's up? Just playing a little bit of Pikmin. I do wish, and I remember thinking this when I initially played the game, but it's it's a fucking it's a nitpick. It's a nitpick that the camera could have been a little bit better because sometimes I can't see what the fuck's happening around me. Marco asks, "Is that buzzing part of the game?" Okay, are you talking about that horn type sound? Because it is. Did it just get amped up? Look, I love this. I love being able to do this. Why would they remove this feature? Whatever. Hi, Finks Key. Oh shit, panic! Panic! Lights out in 2100 hours! Fucking don't- th see that's what I'm talking about. Don't- don't- don't throw the Pikmans, Olimar. So, yeah, as long as- as long as nobody's hearing, uh, any- any kind of weird shit. I- I think a lot of you know the difference between weird shit. Like, what's- what we're supposed to be hearing and all that. So this is we're good, right? I don't I don't really remember. We we should be good. That now that they're in the little the little safety zone, now that we're in base camp, they should be okay. If we way bit, I just started maybe uh, ten minutes ago or so, half hour ago. Some shit. Marco, thanks for the art. Uh, by the way, that was really awesome. I I didn't get to put the um. I didn't get to put the the away screen up yet, but I'm definitely gonna, that's just due to procrastination and shit. But I I will do it eventually. I'm, I I like that shit a lot. I use it. Oh look oh. <laughs> Starting two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I'm not gonna do that for the whole thing. Don't worry about it. Hostile life forms. Yeah. Nope. No big titty green chicks, unfortunately. So, Mike, this is—I think this is your first time actually. Sitting here watching this game play. Uh, am I right in saying that maybe you saw it for a few minutes? I think I played this game 
initially around the same time I played Star Fox Advantage, Ad 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 Advantage, Advantage, Star Fox Advantage, and um, a lot of my friends thought that I was that I needed help. I guess it was they saw me playing it, they didn't understand what I was doing. They're like, how did you, how did you get to this, this this dark place where you feel like you need to sit here and, and play through this entire entire game? And I did beat it. But I think it was either immediately before that I played that game, or immediately after that I that this that my attention was even drawn to this game, and I I, I loved it immediately. Mike has never played the game. I don't think he's ever seen the gameplay before. He only knows he only really knows Olmar through through Smash Brothers. So Mike, why don't you tell them a little bit about what you've seen so far and, and how you, how you feel about what you've seen and how it makes you feel? What this game? Yeah, this game. Does it? You don't want to just, just spew vitriol? No, it looks... It's not my type of game, to be honest with you, but I can see how uh, some people would enjoy it. By the way, wh why are you wearing a tank top in fucking, like, like 30, 30 a, degree weather? Because I have a nice shirt that I don't want to wrinkle on your couch. All right. So I took it off. Did you consider the fact that I don't want to look at your, your obscene shoulder, shoulder and chest hair? <laughs> you forgot the tit hair, too, Michael. I could see tufts of your tit hair peeking out the top of the tank top. Real fucking disturbing. Yeah, Marco, I, I didn't uh I'm I'm very I'm very absent minded, by the way, guys. If I don't if I don't immediately react if I don't immediately answer emails or just you know, react to whatever it is like that you're you're trying to do, it's just because I didn't I, I fucking didn't realize what the fuck was going on. That's pro that's the answer. All right, let's take as many Pikmans as we can, and let's pick it up. Oh yes, yeah, no, fuck yeah. Let's get on that shit. Why not, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not one to sit around and be like, I love the winter time. Isn't it so magical? And I hear, I hear a lot of that stuff lately. And then everybody, you know, you go on Facebook, everybody's bitching about the weather. And then you got the people that are like, I don't know what everybody's complaining about. It's a winter wonderland. <laughs> and it's like, dude, maybe you don't regularly have to drive a motor vehicle. Or maybe you don't regularly have to take public transportation. Or maybe you don't have to just fucking stand outside on a regular basis. But it kind of, kind kind of sucks, asshole, man. What are, what are these spebs doing? Oh, the nectar! Oh, the nectar! I forgot about nectar. How, guys, what the, what's the deal with the nectar again? How do you get it? You make them. Put them on. Put them on flowers. Is that how you get it? Or it just shows up randomly? I don't remember. I don't know. It just fucking sucks ass. Yeah, get some. Get some nectar, guys. Hey, the by You'd ra you'd rather be up here in the in the in the fucking the the muck. Than down there in the 78. Where where are you, the B.Y.? You in you in, uh, you in Florida? <laughs> let's build a snowman. Let's let's walk off a fucking cliff. All right, I I get that it's fun for the kids. But even then, I, I think I think it stopped being fun for me. Maybe like sometime around my, my my fifth birthday, I realized how fucking lame it was. Probably had something to do with my father smacking me in the head with a shovel and setting me to work on fucking shoveling the snow in front of every neighbor's house for blocks blocks around. Oh, what's this thing's problem? I don't remember. There's a there's a trick to this enemy. 
Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Okay, okay. God damn it, I said ceasefire! Oh, leave that fucking thing alone. Alright, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Hey, Ewan, have a great time at the concert, man. Thanks for stopping by. Louisiana? Come on, you guys... You guys got fucking beautiful weather down there. I heard last year you had some, like, freak kind of fucking... Cold weather, is that true? Well, I don't know what... I mean, my... I, the person that told me that was in New, New, New Orleans. Oh, what are these things? Oh, the bombs? Yeah, we'll take the bombs. Why can't you guys pick up the bombs? No, oh. no, they don't want to pick up the bombs. They're on strike. See, I thought that was the the point of having Pikmin. They couldn't go on strike. They're not unionized. They don't even have brains. Unless they do. Then I'd kind of feel guilty about treating them this way. Nah, no, I wouldn't. So what was the the deal with the, with this fucking thing? Does it, can it, does anyone remember what what this is? I'm having a I don't remember what. What do you just need as many of them? I don't have enough of them. Hey, chili. What's up, man? Marco, you get those icicles that you could just... Oh, they're giving up. They're not even... Those icicles that could fall on you and, like, fucking make a hole in your skull. So earlier I was talking about... Oh, bomb it. Thank you. But why wouldn't they pick up the fucking bombs, Sluice? Oh, they're doing it now, right? Look, they won't do it. Little fucking twats. Come on, do it. So earlier I was talking about the... I have no mouth and I must scream. You gotta throw it on him, huh? Only yellow pick me. That's right, thank you, Greg. That's right, thank you. I have no mouth and I must scream. And the... The exciting climax... Of the story involves... Four people getting murdered with a, with a giant icicle. And it's pretty delicious. Okay. Here's the thing, guys. I don't have any yellow Pikmin. And I know that bringing the yellow... We have to, we have to just go find the yellow Pikmin, huh? Bringing the yellow pellet to the red... The red onion does not does not give you yellow Pikmin, it just gives you more red Pikmin. Alright, so then, look at the map. Where's the map? Where's the map at? That's the map? Frick. Ernie, what's up? How you doing on this, this night, man? Very early in the next area? Thanks, Grave. Um. So in that case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to 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 wring as much value out of this level that I came to prematurely as I can. That way, I, it wasn't a complete waste of time coming here. That's what I'm gonna do. So pick up this shit. Go get your pick your Pikmin muscle milk. Go ahead. Go get it. There you go. You saw a movie, Erdy? What'd you see? Hey, Zoshi. What'd you see, Erdy? What, what movie... What movie did you see? Take this, because we're here. Hey, bone thrower. That's easy. Indian long grain rice. Why are you asking me that, but... Aw, oh, Sluice, I know, the, I know the trees that you're talking about. 
Except here, we don't, uh, we, we don't say that they smell like dead fish. Something a little bit different, maybe, maybe related, but not quite the same. And we'll do this. Archival 253. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that means Archive 253. Sounds like a sci-fi thing. Sci-fi thing, is it? Pick this thing up. Wow, I want this thing dead so badly. I've never had so much hatred for it. Oh, no! There it is. That's it. You got it. I got it. You, you have to. You have to fucking. You have to throw it out of there. the problem. Oh, the yellow Spanish rice bone thrower? Yeah, I, I, I like that too. What are, they, what are these fucks doing? Oh, they're building the. Bri I forgot about that. Can I get up there? Yes. What is this? Why are they doing that? No. Okay, they can't. Okay, I got it. Oh, they, they climb up the fuck. Go, just go. And again, I'm using that right. What, what would be the C-Stick on a GameCube controller. And they're all getting the message pretty easily. A haunted hospital thing. Already. Hey, Erdy. Um, I'm gonna ask you a question. I think this was like a, a Mexican-American movie, but maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe you know about it. It's called, um, Barrio Tales, or like, Tales from the Barrio. And it's a, sh a series of, like, short, of, of shorts, like, horror movies. About, like, stuff that goes on, I guess, in, like, Mexican. I think it, I think it's in, like, you know, like, South Central, like, LA. But one of the, <laughs> one of the, the, the short films is about, uh, why can't they fucking do that? Go back up there and get that thing. One of the, sh the stories is about a murder. It's like I, this, this dude, he runs a taco truck, and everybody like loves this guy's tacos, right? And then it's revealed, and then and then kids in the neighborhood start going disappearing. They start going, they start going missing, and it's revealed through the the course of the story that the uh, the taco dude has just been like kidnapping the children. And chopping them up for his taco meat, because the whole, <laughs> the whole short, everybody's talking about how awesome his, ta his taco meat is, and they're like, "What is it?" And he's like, "I'll never tell. It's my secret recipe and all that shit." I guess it's a soil and green type twist at the end, but uh, you know, it's got the. I mean, all the actors are, are, are Mexican. It's got like a distinct, kind of like Mexican, I guess, comedy flavor to it. I don't know. It was a pretty fucking funny movie. Why won't they... Why won't they do that, though? Oh! And here it is. Try to remember the other ones. Oh, yeah, um... One of them was like, and yeah, this was a, this was a movie that was obviously, you know, like the writers and producers were were, were Mexican, you know. Um, one of the um, one of the stories was about like this this Mexican housemaid who got like um, accidentally like murdered by like a bunch of like rich white boys, like spoiled rich white boys, at like their their friend's mansion. And they they sicked some kind of like ancient Mexican demon curse on the uh, like her 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 grandmother or whatever sick like this 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 sick twisted like Mexican ancient like I guess like like Aztec hex on them and like uh like one of the kids like his fucking eyes exploded and all this this twisted shit 
Listen, if you like, yeah, if, if you like horror, check it out. Oh, Barry Tales. Yeah, it's fucking kind of cool, fun little movie. The vi vignettes, they're vignettes, I guess, is the word I want to use. Sluis, I didn't leave any pick Pikmin, what are you talking about? I got them all. No. No, I got them all. I don't Listen, I don't do that. I don't leave Pikmin behind to get eaten by the fucking... No. No. <gasps> I did. Oh my god, I did. Oh shit, no. This is a dark fucking day. I don't like doing that. I never, I never, ever do that. Hey, Danny. Oh, I should have looked at the fucking Mac. I shit the bed. Hey, Pizza Dick. Welcome. I'm glad you. I'm glad you could bring your uh, your your smegma toppings to the conversation tonight. Like, oh, is that a, is that a double cheese pizza? No, that's mozzarella and smegma. I ha I got put on that. Now, someone told me that the, the yellow Pikmin are easily found in the next area. But the problem is... I can't go to the next area, guys. So, what's up? Well, Danny, I, I have a theory about it. It's, um... It's a pizza with, like, thinly sliced medallions of, of penis from various, various animals. Probably, like, bull. Um, horse. It's the same concept as the saucers, but you know, dicks. Like, I think it's something that that, that Pizza Hut puts on its pizza in, like, uh, Malaysia. By the way, guys, if you want to laugh, just do, do, do a quick Google search for, um, Pizza Hut pizzas abroad. Do you remember that, Mike? The stupid, the stupid pizzas abroad. I think oh, it was Pizza Hut. Oh, I remember that. Hey, Gyro. What's going on tonight, man? Listen, guys. I'm trying to get to the area where you uncover the yellow Pikmin, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking. It's not registering. Is it this area that I fucking? Put? No, no, um, Danny, it's not rock, because Rocky Mountain Oysters are the testicles. This is just th thinly sliced shaft. <laughs> Queen Bit is not gonna eat, no, pizza's fine. Listen, if anything, pizza did ruined pizza for you. No pizza dick, I, okay, no, I am, I am. I am playing on an emulator. However, I I do I do have in my possession in this house right now the console and and the game. Okay, listen, chat. I want I want your help for a second so I don't waste my my fucking my precious life. So I don't squander my one life away here. Where are the yellow Pikmin? One, I only have two levels to hit up. So which one... Which one are they at? Luke asks if I would ever eat a pizza with dicks on it. Um... Is it... Like, am I in a part of the world... Where it's a delicacy? And... Do I have people telling me that it's... That it's an amazing... It's an amazing experience. Like, it's the best pizza. Okay, Forest of Hope. Thank you, great. Because I'm not going to eat dick pizza unless it's like a, a, a cultural norm in the place. Like, I'm traveling abroad. They've got a pizza with dicks on it. They're eating it all the time. They're not just doing it to fuck with the, far the American white guy because they think it'll be funny. If it's something that they eat there all the time and, and 
I'm to understand that it's some kind of delicacy. I travel a lot and I'm of the opinion that when in Rome, you do as the Romans do. So if the Romans are eating dick pizza, I have reason to believe that it might, you know, it's going to be an experience. It's going to be an experience. It's not just going to be, ha <laughs> you ate a dick pizza. Then I might, like I, I've said before, I'm a pretty, uh, I'm a pretty adventurous eater. Here's the thing that I wanted to ask you guys. Because I was... I was thinking about, uh, maybe streaming Nintendo, Nintendons again. But I couldn't get the microphone to work. Okay, let's say... Let's say you're in, you're in Southeast Asia, or you're in, you're in China, right? Maybe you're in Vietnam, or a place, Korea. Maybe a place where they, they regularly eat. Well, I'm gonna go with dog for this, right? Oh, here we go. And let's say you're in a restaurant. Or you're at, a, you're at, you're at a friend's house, or somebody you met, you're at, you're at their house. Maybe their mom cooked, right? And they put a plate in front of you. They put a plate in front of you, and there's like a, 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 a slab of meat on the plate. I need more Pikmin for that, huh? And they put it in front of you, and they tell you that that it's dog. And they tell you that it's fucking delicious. How about this? How about I'm sitting next to you in this instance, and I tell you that I've had it, and it is absolutely outstanding. Okay, who here? Who here is gonna is gonna eat is gonna taste the dog? Okay, because I know I've, I've had this conversation with people before and for a lot of them this is like a taboo that you just do not fuck with like you you do not eat dog ever under any circumstances but meanwhile we got parts of the world where people people eat dog everything um, so who does it who tries who tries the dog and for who, this is absolutely out of the question, it'll never happen, it's totally unforgivable. But, you know, I'm not gonna do it to be an asshole. Like, I'm not, you know, if, if, if it tasted like total shit, I wouldn't make you eat it if it sucked. You know, you, and I mean, when, when again are you gonna get another No, wait, wait, no, we don't wanna do that. No, 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 leave that there. When again... Are you gonna get? Oh, hey, Fred. What's up, Fred? Oh, e easily balut. Um, do a quick Google image search for that if you don't don't know what that is. It's Filipino delicacy. Mmm. But here's the thing, and there's a. Here's you might have other stuff to eat, Sluice, but here's here's the deal. There's a reason that I, I phrased it that way. There's a reason I said that the plate is already in front of you. Okay? Luke's got it. Luke's got it. The idea there is... Your decision to eat this or not is not going to bring the dog that was already slaughtered back to life. Okay? It's already done. And you're only in this country for a limited time, presumably. Um, you're not going to be probably eating dog ever again. It's just the one time. Um, you're not going to be contributing to the the, 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 the the meat trade for this animal. You know, like, that, that that would be the main argument, I think, that would stop people. It would be like, well, if I eat it, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to support the industry of slaughtering and eating dogs. Not in this instance. The dog's already dead. And you'll never fucking contribute to the industry ever again. So, yeah, pizza dick, pizza dick is right. How about that? Well, to Hindus, the, the, the cow, the cow is kind of off limits as meat. But you know, they also have a sizable um, Muslim population in that country, so they they are eating beef. People are eating beef in that country. 
even if it kind of upsets other people that are there, which is kind of kind of fucked up to think about it. But yeah. But I've talked to a lot of people who, for the, the eating the dog, is absolutely out of the question. We're, ne we're, ne we're never doing it under any other circumstance. And that's the end of it. You know, me, why not? Uh, it's already dead. I I'm not gonna love doing it, but hey, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe it's the best fucking meat that I ever tasted. And if I didn't try it, I'd never know. So, yeah. You couldn't eat it, Margo? I'm gonna look at the chat for a second because I haven't. I got fucking distracted. Hey, Reapums, welcome. Oh, Vinny got the Nintendongs to work? He got the microphone to work? Oh, I see some, some tit cheese comments. Remember that? The fucking tit cheese? I think it's worth pointing out, though, that. All cheese, really, is, is tit cheese, isn't it? Ultimately. It was just, Mike is, Mike is wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I'll bring this up again, because cause it was just, it was so much fun last time I brought it up. This is years ago, I, I, I read this article about a, a couple. A couple in, in and I, I believe it was France. I sort of can't imagine this type of thing happening any. Fuck that. I can't kind of uh, imagine this thing happening anywhere else in the world except France for some reason. But this couple, they were, uh, his wife, the wife was pregnant. See, he came back after he threw the bomb. Why didn't the other one? The wife was pregnant, and they were harvesting her breast milk. And they were making cheese out of it. And then they were selling it on their website. And by all accounts, this cheese was delicious. And some people some people got a little bit a little bit grossed out by this last time. But think about it though. You you've all already fucking at some unless borrowing you were on formula or something. The majority of you have already sampled human breast milk, right? When you were a fucking baby. So why is it different now? Because you're an adult? No. Oh. So you already you already crossed that that Rubicon. Why not go back? Maybe the cheese kicks ass. Rev, hey Rev. Rev says it's better than vagina yogurt. Now I've ha I've uh, I've had a pretty mean vagina yogurt in my day, so I wouldn't go that far. But you know, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta go downtown, no matter what the situation. Sometimes you just don't have a choice. Fred says breast milk pizza. Sluice likes the goat cheese. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of goat, goat cheese. Right. Vagina yogurt. I have a suspicion that he's talking about yeast infection. But anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's not. Okay, you are gonna. And I love, I love how they separate into their different. They, they segregate themselves into different factions. When you use the um, the X button. Well, shit, Danny. They they fucking. They have entire uh, tit milk bars in Japan. I, I I was told by somebody. Where men can just go any any time of day, any time they want, and get down on some real bona fide tit milk. Like like straight like like women women are, are sitting upright. It's like the it's like the milk bar from Clockwork Orange, except it's actual women just sitting in there, ready to fucking 
Ready to ready to serve. Ready to serve. It's almost like going to a fro a froyo place. Don't fucking kill kill yourselves. Going to a frozen yogurt place. You just walk up to the woman to, to tweak her nipple and enjoy. Uh, Erdy asks if I ever heard that people have sex with donkeys in Colombia. Um, that's that's news to me. Um, I mean, I was aware of people having sex with donkeys in the United States and the UK for damn sure, but uh, no, not in Colombia. That's new. Oh, Fred! Yeah, this is one of my this is one of my favorite titles uh, from the, from the GameCube. Um, for sure. I saw a spaceship part that I want to try to nab before the sun goes down. Hey, Dova. What's up, man? Why this woman rev? Oh dear lord. Fourteen years. That's. That's not okay. Jesus. Yeah, I notice a lot of you hate milk because in, in Vinny's, um, his Majora's Mask stream the other night, and he got the milk. Everybody was, was hating on milk. <laughs> Actually, Drew, the main reason I said that was because I knew you were in here. <laughs> Hey Dova, actually, I wanted to ask you: Is is that is that Dova Dova Keen? Dova? I fuck I forgot where the spaceship part was. Erdy, e email email that to me, Erdy. I'll def I'll I'll watch that. Um. I don't know. Everybody fucking was hating on milk for some reason. Where, where, where's my fucking spaceship part? Oh, this is not. No, we're not gonna do that. Not now. I want to just nail that spaceship part. Does anybody remember where the fuck that was? Yeah, I was talking about the other night how I had to go through Sky Skyrim withdrawals. It's one of the most traumatic experiences of my life. Hey, get up there. Get that. Get that thing. Yeah. I told my mom, I was like, lock me in this room, here's the key, what's this, it's my whimsical, okay, you know, just get it to the ship, don't let me out no matter what I say, she just, she heard me just screaming the words over and over, that I am the Dover King, drenched in my own sweat, Clawing at my neck, fucking breaking the flesh of my neck in cold sweats. Writhing under the covers in agony. I looked on the ceiling and I saw a baby Khajiit crawling across it, coming right towards me. Stopped above me, his head made a full 360. Yeah, the Skyrim withdrawals, that was... That was fucking weird. Reapums, if I could only be... Uh, Pizza Dick, no, I, I don't have a 3DS. I was thinking about buying Vinny's old 3DS off him. But, uh... I, I feel like I'm not gonna play it. I feel like I'm just not gonna play it. I'm, I don't know. It's, to, to me, it's sort of like... I'm not gonna play like a like a, a a portable console when I'm not I'm not gonna do it in my house. I, I don't know. It's just a weird kind of psychology that I have. I guess I don't know. Why, Sluice? Do you want to play Monster Hunter with me? Wait, I have all my Pikmin. I have them all, no? What, like, they have to be with me with me?
Oh, they're all, they're all, what are the stars, Pikmin? No, those are ship parts, right? Oh, you mean, you mean these, Pikmin? You mean these is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, they're not going anywhere, I got them. Yeah, they're all mine. You know what I was thinking about doing, Pizza Dick? I was thinking about getting a, a Keizu, like, tattooed on my dick. What do you think? Like just like like his his big hind legs, like one hind leg on each ball, and then just the shaft of his neck, just along my shaft, and then just that weird like fucking lamprey eel mouth, like right around the the dick hole. A keizu. The fucking the the monster. I never played I never played Monster Hunter, but I saw I saw a picture of this thing and I immediately burst into laughter. Because they didn't even try to make it not not look like a dick. Yeah, the ones in the ground you don't have to worry about, actually. Marco, I... I love this game, man. You gotta... You gotta... If, if there's any way for you to play this title, you should really check it out when you get the chance. Yeah, Pizza Dick, watch out for a monster called... I might not be saying it right. K-H-E-Z-U. You all know it when you see it. Trust me. Trust me, Pizza Dick. Okay, so now that I have the yellow Pikmin, we can... Uh, maybe hit up this shit again? Yeah, great, but I think if, if they're in this little... This little uh, base area, you don't have to worry about actually having them under your com immediate command. Dude, two. The second Pikmin is, is is an excellent game. Also, if they have it on the, I don't know if they did that. I don't know if they did that, but uh, if they did, that's pretty fucking cool. We're gonna take all of you guys. I need blue Pikmin, Danny. Thank you. Lamango, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to my Pikmin stream. Well, Sluice, I do have the, um, the, D the DS, the DS emulator. Uh, you need the blue ones. The only, in my mind, Pizza, the only console I can, I can justify, I can justify buying is, is a Wii U. Because to me, you know, why the fuck? Yeah, we could use some more yellow ones, right? There's nothing. There, there are no titles on a PlayStation. And I'm, I'm sure maybe this is just me. I don't know. I know some people get excited about these games, but I can't justify buying a, a PlayStation Three or a PlayStation One or whatever. It, it's, it's. What are they up to, Mike? Four? What is it? How are they doing that? Four. And Xbox, uh, Xbox One it is, right? The new Xbox? I don't give a fuck about... Little Big Planet. I, yeah, I don't, I just, I, I, totally unenthused about that. You know, what? Assassin's Creed? Can I, can I get, if I really wanted to play Assassin's Creed, can I get that on PC? What, Halo? I can't play Halo without a fucking Xbox? I think I'll be alright. I think I'll survive. I think I'll survive without Halo. But you know, I mean, I, again, I, I know people like these games, but most of the things I'm gonna want to play, I'm gonna be able to do to do on PC. So the only things I'm not gonna be able to do are Nintendo games. So that would be the fuck over here. They're not obeying me. The Pikmin Insurrection! It's a fucking mutiny! Yeah, I draw I think you get what I'm saying, Drew. Consume. Consume the nectar. Alright, well. Somebody said that I need the blue Pikmin for the next part of the level. And my question to that person is. Can I get the blue Pikmin in this 
in this level. The Pikmin, sir! They're revolting! I know, they're quite disgusting, but what's the problem? No, I don't know how to, um... Oh, yes I do. Yes I do! Yeah, you guys might- you guys may- Oh, this thing is such a little fucking penis, huh? You may be seeing me at some point purchasing a, a Wii U. You don't get the blue Pikmin until the forest naval. Alright, thanks, Danny. How do you switch Pikmin? I don't remember that part. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I might purchase a Wii U. That'd be it. What did I do to the candle? Oh, fuck, Smash Bros. For me, fucking Smash Brothers alone justifies the Wii U. Lemango, it will be an onslaught of dick pictures, is what it will be. I want you to do that, but I want you to zoom out. There it is, okay. Okay, that's... Anything worth note going on in here at all? Yeah, I would love to own Smash Brothers. We don't have a Zelda game on Wii U yet, right? Um... The B what the Y B it's um it's Chicken Run right with fucking George Clooney, I think it I'm not even I quoted it but I wasn't sure where the quote came from believe it or not. Uh. Lamango, believe it or not, I'm not too crazy about Hyrule Warriors, and we all know that's not a Zelda game. That's a that's a. That's a Dynasty Warriors game, but whatever. And I don't, I don't, I don't hate the Dynasty Warrior uh, a franchise, but um. Deh. But what else on Wii U? I, I don't think. Interestingly enough, I don't think I'd play, I'd play the third Pikmin, believe it or not. What else is- wh how else can I justify the purchase of a Wii U? Oh, Sonic Lost World! But fucking there it is! I'm fucking- I'm, I'm gonna stop streaming and go fucking break into a fucking- a, a Best Buy or whatever, so I can get this thing right now. So I can start playing Sonic Lost World TONIGHT! Tonight, Mario Kart 8. All right, that, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Uh, I think what the fuck else has Vinny been playing on Wii U? What, like the, the the Wii U fucking Mario Party Wii U? It's not Mario Party, but it's like a like a weak ass equivalent to Mario Party. Hey, fat cat, Sonic 06 on Wii. Wii U is sounding better and better by the second. Wind Waker HD, that I would play, yeah. Yeah. That I would definitely play. Also, also I did this for no reason, huh? <laughs> What's not to love about driving off cliffs, Mango? Uh, somebody make themselves useful with that. I saw Vinny play Bayonetta a little bit. Looks okay. Um, I don't know if I'd play it. I don't know. There's a Donkey Kong game on Wii U? I do like me some Donkey Kong. I do.
Hey, has has there been a, a new uh, beautiful Katamari game in a while? Ain't seen one of those in a while. Why did that Pikmin do that? I sorta of came here for no reason, didn't I? He beat he beat Bay Bayonetta, right, Vinny? Wait, why would they do Oh, for Nectar? Yeah, by all means, how about it? Drink your nectar! It's good for you. No. No one is no, no, if I have anything to say about it. No one is spending sixty dollars so I can play the fuck one of the what is what I am told worst fucking Sonic games ever created. It's just not. Is I I cannot condone that. Absolutely not. I I will find a way to play that game. Don't worry. That is not the way. Oh Splatoon. Okay, yeah, Splatoon looks fucking cool. Yeah. I feel like I had uh, a lot more Pikmin, huh? Like, where are they all at? Are they fucking... Are they getting massacred somewhere? Oh, there's one of these morons. Okay, come on. It's funny, I remember thinking, like, there were a lot of Nintendo titles that I remember thinking, oh, I'd, I'd play that if I had the console, and now that I'm, like, on the spot, I can't fucking remember any of them. No, Sluice. Fucking no, no man left behind. That's our motto here. Hey, Mike, what's up? I, I know, uh, guy, but I keep forgetting to turn the profanity filter off. I need the map. I need the map. Okay, there's a fucking little enclave up them, of them up there. Okay, so I can go left. No, I gotta get them to come with me. Fuck, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting which button shows me the map. I see him. I see him. I see him. Yeah, it's it's heart wrenching when the Pikmin die. I hate it. I hate the sound that they make. Oh, they couldn't make it. Oh, is that all of them? Though I still see. I still see one who didn't. I can't. Guys, I can't get him. Guys, come on. There he is. I can't. They're fucking. They're dead. They're dead. Abortion shark. What's up, man? Hey, Nick Cage. Here's the theory. This is Earth. This is a post-apocalyptic Earth. Right? And... Yes, Olimar's really small. That's why he finds giant Coca-Cola bottle caps. Pizza? I am gonna fu fuck your shit up if I get a Wii U. You best believe it. Yeah, you see that, BY? See that shit? And they're gonna they're gonna die up there. They're gonna die up there, man. They're gonna fucking die up there. Yeah, Danny, um the chapstick? Remember the chapstick? I can't think of chapstick without thinking of the, the Mothman prophecies. What's in my hand right now, Richard Gear? Anybody ever see that movie? Well, the thing is, Lamango, is I wanted them to... I wanted to save that, that pellet for the blue Pikmans. 
you know what I mean? But, whatever, I'm sure there'll be other opportunities. I'm not doing it injustice. But I love that movie. Oh, and look, now these fucks are gonna die. Oh, god damn it. Oh, shit. Guys, we're gonna lose- yeah, we're gonna lose some Pikmin, folks. Sorry. Sorry. It's happening. Sorry, Sluice. Four out of forty for my dead Pikmin. Sacrificed their lives in the line of duty for a purpose that I don't even really understand. You give me any game where I where I have minions, and I'm I'm just I'm in love. I love having fucking control over the lives of of, of lesser creatures. I know they loved me, but they were out of they were out of range of my whistle. What do you want from me at that point? Sluice, I'll, 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 I will I will I will cry. You will hear me break down on stream. I'll, I'll in you'll hear me just fucking in tears, bawling. You'll hear me bawling if you do that. Doesn't isn't there a stat that shows you how many Pikmin died? But check it out. I left with more Pikmin than I came down here with, regardless. Okay. Listen, I didn't invent dog pizza. I merely suggested it. Okay. So the Forest of Hope is where we're getting the blue Pikmin, correct? I know that they loved me. Just guys, stop. Hey, Bugles. I fuck. Yeah, I, lo I love this game. Okay, time to pick it up. As in Pikmin. Pikmin. Today, you are no longer pick boys. You are pick man. I need more parts. Is that what it is, Mango? So I have to get the parts that are here. Okay. Let's get some of these fucks. Alright, this will be good. Bugles, let me tell you something. The ones that I left behind, I left them behind for... They were insubordinate, and they were out of control. And they were doing some really disturbing things with the fucking... With the, corp, the corpses of the animals that they slain. Like, cut, cut it, slicing off their, their ears and making necklaces out of them and shit. There's gonna be a court martial when we get back to the home planet. I'm telling you right now. Some fucking real heart of darkness shit going on in here. Hey, Erdy, Twitch has been fucked up for everybody the past couple of days, apparently. Pizza, am I gonna get Mortal Kombat? Dee! Dee! I don't really like that game. Believe it or not. The only the only fighting game I ever really liked at all, honestly, was, was Smash Brothers. I'm I'm smoosh to the douche. Forever. I hate that sound. I hate that fucking sound of Dead Pikmin. Get back into the fucking fray. 
So, I'll give you guys a quick update about what's going on over here. Um, Mike took a monster shit. Yeah. A monster fucking shit. Did you, could you hear it? I, I didn't know because he he put the he put the faucet on because he didn't want to hear he didn't want me to hear like his deuces, like s just splashing into the toilet at the fucking ungodly vo velocity that they no doubt exited his body. Yeah. And 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 now this 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 entire fucking basement just reeks reeks of feces. I just have fucking the, the stench of raw human feces just fucking curling into my nostrils. And there's not a goddamn thing I can do about it. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Danny! At the eyes? At the eyes? Really? Fucking Christ, man! What did you eat?! The sad thing is, I only went into your bathroom to take a piss. And then, the, then it just hit you. You've been definitely getting down on some children tacos, and, and, and fucking dog meat, and dick, dick pizza. Yeah, and I garnished them with some dick <laughs> Alright, we're looking for spaceship parts. Um, I think it would be... Okay, so I see where they are, and I see how to get to them. Saddle up, boys, we're burning daylight! Listen to the horn. I love it. Nope. We're going... Yep, we're doing this right. Yeah, why don't you grab some bombs for the fuck of it? Chili dogs! Okay, so, we're going to throw the Pikmin at the ice, is what we're going to do. Oh, are they going to use the bombs, or...? Uh, sort of felt like I took more casualties, but, uh, me. Hey, Chili, going to a dance tomorrow? What kind, of, what kind of dance? What kind of dance? Why did they stop following me? What is that? What are they scared to come in here? No, 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 no. It has to be on top. Oh. I think you need water Pikmin for this. Or do they have to be dead? Is that what you said? The, the bombs are. I squandered the bombs, uh, Danny. You know what? You're right. I feel like there are fucking gonna be this guy. Nope. He just ate fucking 16 of them. <gasps> oh, and he bit the tip of my penis. That wasn't okay. Look at the. the he fucking mad me massacred them! FALL BACK! That must have been loud, sorry. <laughs> oh, it didn't even damage him. He's dead. That one's dead? I did kill that one, man. You're paying more attention to the fucking game than I am. And that was why I needed the bombs. Abortion Shark asks, if I could fight one president, who would it be? Teft. Heft. Jimmy Carter. Mike says Jimmy Carter. I could have. I, I didn't even try punching him, huh? I know, Hubert. I'm sorry. It's just fucking. They're just. They're just so disposable. It's not their fault. It's just evolution, really. You, I, I know why, because you guys want to want to give Jimmy Carter a fucking fat lip. That's why. You want to bust his fucking lip open. That's why. FDR. Yeah, I would fight FDR. Just fucking strangle him in the chair. 
<laughs> Fucking man can't defend himself. Ask not what you can do for your country. Fuck it, the polio couldn't kill him, but I could. Nick Cage, I have here with me uh, my my very good friend Mike. Who you may know from the Twitch chat as Aju. Like the sauce that you put on a roast beef sandwich. I don't know why you went with that, but uh, makes more sense than my hand, my user handle. Kennedy would probably fuck me up, I think. Abortion shark. He said me scared to fight Kennedy. The mango is asking if you are the the Lamont Lamange Mike. Yes. Formerly. Yeah. Yes, he was, and then he changed it because, uh, you know, he loves the fucking the, the au jus sauce so much he needed to reflect it. He changed my life and my Twitter handle. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember why I came here again. Oh, that's already happening, huh? Alright, might as well just go to town and his ass. What is it? It's like a deformed ladybug? The good news is, not a lot of them died. Lamango says people got you two mixed up in the in the chat a lot. Okay, what well, was it? Yeah, well, I can see it was a similar name, huh? Lemange, Le Lemango. I gotta look at the map again. Um, it's over there. But what I have to get through a a bomb wall, right? Okay. No, I have to get past the box. Yeah, go ahead, do it. It fucking make you happy. I have to get past the box. Yeah, I have to get past the. Fickin' bags! So... What if, what if I went for this piece? What if I went for this, this piece right here? Where, am I, where my mouse is? Huh, what if I did that? I'm gonna do that. Cause I need water Pikmin for that thing we were just looking at, I realize now. Somebody can take that. I like see. I like how you don't. You don't have to micromanage them as much as you did in the third one. They just kind of like they know what you want them to do, and I like that. All right, we're gonna fucking we're gonna tear this thing up. I like how the bomb picked me, even though I threw them up there. Oh, never mind. They did use the bombs. No! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a fucking another massacre. At the eyes, you said? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that sound. And all the bomb picking. I don't think uh, my time management skills in this game have been... I, I, w I wouldn't use the word good thus far. I think they they've kind of been pretty fucking poor. Made some, made some poor decisions. I see the part, but the problem is I just squandered all the bomb Pikmin. So anybody following this fucking, this Robert Durst thing, man, in the media? What's going on with that, huh? Anybody have any idea what I'm talking about? We don't have to get completely into it, but, uh, I watched the HBO. Me and Mike both, we watched the HBO documentary. The Jinx. And it's quite... Quite the mindfuck. 
basically about this documentary about this guy who has been evading prosecution for three murders for way, way longer than he should have been getting away with these, these murders for. And uh, the documentary is just talking about how- why, why did nothing happen when I did that? Did you notice that? The f both bombs exploded against the wall and nothing happened? This dude is the heir, he, he's, he's a scion of a very wealthy Manhattan real estate family. And his entire life, it's, it's, it's suspected he's been responsible for at least three murders, including his own wife in 1982. And he's just had the luxury of throwing money at, at these problems to make them go away his entire life. Um, he's been literally getting away with murder. And thanks to this, this, this really, really in-depth and cute documentary. Is that what it is? It's a black wall that needs more bombs? This documentary that HBO did, HBO, HBO did, new evidence has come to light. And uh, the motherfucker was, was arrested just, uh, just a few days ago. In Queens, he's going to be brought to trial again. For one of for one of the murders, for one of the murders, and uh, I don't know any anybody here. If you're if you're into fucking like crime drama, like real life crime drama, you should check out this documentary series because it is spectacular. Hey, El Hazen, El Hazen knows has has seen the guy. Yeah, the black soulless eyes. Well, hey man, maybe he didn't do it. I don't know, it's for a jury to figure out. But no, if you're, um, if you, if you watch this documentary, you're, 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 not, you're gonna have a hard time believing he, he didn't do it, any of this shit. Lemango gave one of my favorite streamers. Well, I gave, I gave Jen, Jen a box, and I gave Marissa a box. Um... They were giving them out for free at the restaurant. I, I have like six of them in my jacket pocket right now. Every time I go to that restaurant, I just load up on crayons. Like I just grab handfuls of the boxes of crush, stuff them into my into my fucking pockets. They're giving them away for free. You'd be an asshole not to take them. Yeah, I'd be an asshole not to take them. <laughs> like if I see people giving out toothpicks, I take like at least fifty of them. I I empty I empty the bowls of mints. If I see a bowl of mints in a restaurant, I just I just empty it into my pocket. The worst of the free matches. Oh fuck them out! I'll clean them out if they got matches. Fuck and then I'll burn the fucking place down. Forget that shit. El Hayes and that guy probably got a fucking nice fat check from Durst. For all we know. But, um, he's talking about the juror at the end who was like, He's just me. He's the unluckiest man in the world. Remember that guy? Um, see, I had a problem at Comic-Con. Um, not, not last year, but the year before. I was take, I was taking everything. I had a big fucking, I had a big bag with me. I, I know, Lamango. What are you gonna do? Um... Dude, I was just stuffing everything, everything in sight into this. Did I go to the wrong place again? No, no, this is right. Everything in sight, like buttons, stickers, postcards, you fucking name it. Any, I went to every, any and every table that was given out free shit, shitty comics, everything. Um, and all of it, all of it went right in the fucking garbage as soon as I got back here. Like, what am I gonna do with a vampire freaks... with a tiny little vampire freaks button? Like, I'm not... Like, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking goth teenager. I'm not gonna put it on my fucking backpack. Why did I take this? Because it was free? Yeah! Because it was free! That's it! What's wrong with me?
I just couldn't resist the impulse to take something that I wasn't going to be charged for. Some of it didn't th get thrown out. Some of it's just fucking collecting dust somewhere. Most of it got thrown out. But what am I going to do with this shit? Why did I feel the need to do that? This is how you have to do it so you don't end up killing your own Pikmin. It didn't move, guys. I'm gonna have to go find more of these bombs, aren't I? Yeah, Fat Cat. No, free, free stuff is, is great, but not when it's, like... I, I, yeah, I need more of these things, huh? I didn't even know what half of the fucking shit was, and I, I never went to the to the websites. I hate to say it, but I and this bag was was just packed to the brim with shit. Like I had buttons for fuck for, for websites just coming out my ass. How did all these things? Re oh, they respawned because of well, they respawn overnight. I don't remember. Alright, so I know that there were more of these things. They were in the box, correct? They were in here, right? Why did you guys stop? I think that's... That's to stop them from accidentally going into the water and killing themselves? No, I don't, I don't remember where the... Where the bombs were. Bosses respawn, huh, Bugles? Maybe there's more in here and I just didn't... Nope! Behind the sleeping... The sleeping bulb orb? So I gotta... Okay, I gotta get... I gotta get past the bulb orb. Okay, you guys... Eddies. Can by the area next to the ships? Alright, maybe you do need to come with me. And there's another there's another uh, stone wall behind the um oh I okay. I got it. Let's not wake this fucker up right now. Yeah, they're the be they're better at, at fighting, though. Come on, gentlemen, let's go. Don't wait the bulb board. Pizza dick, you never been to a con? It's alright, it, it can actually be pretty pretty traumatic at certain points. Okay. This is gonna go well. That should do it. There we go. That's what I like to see. It's the extraordinary bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because uh, the salesman told me of its extraordinary quality. That is indiscernible to the average person. Cupid. I ask that every day when I look at the mirror and see the rav the ravages of time upon the, the lines in my face. Nah, not really. But you get the idea. You think they'll wake up if I try to? All right, Danny. So I'm gonna come back here with some some red dudes and make sure that shit doesn't go down that way. Okay, first I'm gonna do this. One at a time, that's the key. Right. 
or should do it to white wall. That way it's not there tomorrow even. Oh. No, you can hang on to that then. And that's how the yellow Pikmin... Oh. So they don't use it if they don't have a target. No, they do. Alright, let's take a shitload of these. Pizza Dick, I have a very easy answer to that question, and I don't ever, I don't ever see your yours is up there, if I could be frank. But immediately, immediately, my mind goes to Smegma Parfait. That is my, that is my go-to. Someone's gonna my favorite my favorite Twitch handle has has to be Smegma Puff. It has to be. All right, let's do this. Cause I have to get this part past all of these guys. And if you're saying that all of them are gonna wake up, then they all need to be dead. I just lost like 16. Man. Lamango says the worst one he saw was one sauce. Cubid wants to do Mike Con. We'll eat dick pizza and dogs. Talk about murderers and hand out complimentary pick dead Pikmin. Complimentary HJs. No, we're not doing this now, people. Let's go. We will do that later. Come on. We have more important fish to fry. Well, you know, I think it depends on the the situation, Danny. Like for me, I'd rather use that. This